Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market prep video for June 8th, 2020. Well, last week, we just had an unprecedented rally in the market. In fact, there's really, there's nothing in history that even comes close to comparing to the rally. The Dow last week rallied more than 2,000 points. So what does that mean for the day ahead? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's kind of settle into our office chairs and let's prepare for the Monday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. So this morning, um, I got to tell you, on Friday after the big gap up and then the selling that came in at the end of the day, I with probably a lot of other folks expected we would wake up this morning and see the markets turning lower. However, we had news over the weekend. Um, OPEC has decided to extend their oil um, production cuts through the summer. And that is pushing oil prices substantially higher. And also we're seeing huge rallies in um, airlines and cruise lines this morning kind of leading the way now that just seems kind of odd to me because any other time that we've ever seen oil prices rise that always affects airlines and cruise lines and they typically go lower but there's no common sense to what's going on right now it's just rally all the time so I, I can't tell you what comes next. I can't tell you um, how this is going to play out. What I will say is let's take a look at the technicals and let's look at the support and resistance of the chart and let's see what we can glean in information from this. Now, clearly, big gap up here on Friday, and this morning we're looking at another gap up. We're looking to move back up and maybe challenge the highs of Friday. Let's take a look at um, our market here, and you can see that we have a resistance level right in here that we breached, and we're trying to hold on to that this morning. Pretty remarkable to just leap above that on that jobs number. So now we're looking for a another level of resistance and we saw that we had a little bit of a struggle right here at the end of the day on Friday so right now we're gapping up toward that level we want want to keep an eye on that to uh, kind of well just pay attention to that level because one of the things we have to worry about is these um, every single day was a gap last week so all of these gaps that have that potential being filled and obviously the one on Friday is massive so if we do start to pull back if the bears do happen to show up or if profit takers do come in we want to keep our eye on that price action but will that happen Boy, I certainly wouldn't want to place any bets on that, that that's going to happen today. The bulls are relentless in this push. It's, it's, it's as if nothing, um, nothing seems to matter. Um, everyone just wants to buy, and there's a mad dash to buy up risk. Now, I would suggest being careful in chasing that, but we certainly want to stay with the overall direction of the market until that happens to change. Let's take a look at our technicals here. If we take a look at some moving averages, let me remove all of that those drawings. We um, gapped above the 200-day moving average and left this giant gap underneath um, uh, price action here to that 200. Logic would tell us that eventually we will see some bearish pullback. We will see some profit taking coming. But right now the bulls are defying gravity and um, this tremendous rally wants to continue this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, um, after rallying above and holding its 200 day, reaching out, and you can see we're gapping up this morning to um, right near the highs of Friday, pushing right into a level of price resistance in the chart that could be substantial so we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that um, watch that closely and just be careful chasing this morning's gap let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq all-time highs on friday we broke through and just ripped 
up to new record highs. And what's remarkable about this is remember all of the great earnings reports and things like that that drove us up here. We were starting to kind of reach a point of overextension even on this move um in the market and everyone was talking about hey we're getting a little bit stretched out and this is kind of pushing us all out of whack but now even with earnings um negative earnings growth um, in the markets we have made new all-time highs in the market how long can we sustain this um i don't know this is um there's no precedent for anything like this um, in the market. So all, the only thing we can really do is stay focused on the price action and the price action right now is telling us, hey, upside is all there is. We're just buying. Everything is going up. So we want to stay with that. But just remember at any point in time, we could catch that pullback, some profit taking or things coming in. And what we should expect with such a a massive rally is if the bears do happen to show up again um, the pullback could be rather harsh so make sure that you're you've got a plan in there to protect yourself um, if and when that does occur let's take a look at iwm iwm also breaking above its 200 day moving average on that gap on friday struggled the most of the indexes um, actually turning negative on the day but this morning we're gapping up all of those big oil uh, moves uh, this morning are helping um, IWM push higher here and we're up here testing that 500 day moving average so watch that closely as we lift into this massive 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 confusion area here in the price action there's lots of price action congestion right there that could create some issues but right now trends are bullish everything is going up there's just nothing um in any way shape or form that seems to be stopping um, the market so far let's take a look at um, the vix the vix tested its 200 day moving average on friday and then in a in the end of day selling we kind of push back up to try and hold on to that 200 day now this morning's gap i'm guessing we're going to test that low on the side of that gap so we're back down here below a 25 handle in the market we're or in the vix and we continue to see that decline now bid as spreads on future or i mean on options are still quite wide and the volatility in the market is still pretty substantial but it is getting better and so let's just watch that closely if we take a look at um some drawings i have on this chart we have dropped now down below this level of price support which gives us that opportunity that um, we could even drop into uh, these levels and into that gap that we show here um, on that boost that we um, up and if we continue to slip we could maybe even slip down here into the 15 handles and we really should be considering the levels of the market right now but we really shouldn't be holding up here around 25 handles except for the confusion and just the uncertainty of such a steep rally um, would be the only reason that we should be holding up here at this these levels um, in the market so let's take a look at t2122 and i gotta tell you t2122 is really in in since we have such a, a an unprecedented move t2122 is just largely confused it doesn't um never seen a time like this and where we are right now is we're pegged against the upper level where I've, I've never seen uh t2122 be pegged like this so stretched out in the market but again this is an unprecedented situation so we can stay up here um, but this does suggest that we have that short-term, very extreme overextended condition and the possibility that a pullback could begin at any time. And all that means is 
We should be aware of that possibility, be watching for that possibility, and have a plan um, in case it does occur. Not saying that it will, but just in case it does occur, and be watching that pretty closely. So with that, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar doesn't have much going on here this morning for us to be particularly worried about. Whoops. Hold on. Just lost my economic calendar. There it is. Um, our economic calendar doesn't have a, uh, anything really um, to be worried about today on that calendar. It's just as we move toward mid and end of week, we have those um, big numbers coming in, those big things. Keep in mind, we have the FOMC beginning tomorrow, and we'll have the FOMC announcement um, on Wednesday. That typically creates a little market anxiety, so we'll want to watch around that um, in those levels. So keep that in mind as we progress throughout the week. As we look at the earnings calendar today, we have a pretty light day as well. We only have about 25 companies reporting earnings. Whoops. About 25 companies reporting earnings, and I would not expect um, much price action um, around these earnings. As a matter of fact, I can only really come up with a couple of uh, potential notables. Uh, Casey, Casey's General Store, um, convenience store, um, is reporting today and um, has had a, a substantial rally up toward its report. So kind of keep an eye on this as it reports today. We're approaching all-time highs here in Casey. And SFIX would be another that might be somewhat notable this morning when it reports. It's been up here testing uh, these price resistance levels and trying to break out of an overall downtrend that we've been seeing um, in this uh, uh, move. So depending on how they report could be an interesting thing to be paying attention to keep an eye on that one other than that there's not much going on in that earnings calendar to really be of note um, in the market so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and uh, stocks that have been moving around substantially here and let's keep in mind everyone that anytime I post a stock um, in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Just kind of keep in mind that these are stocks that I'm keeping an eye on, that I'm watching, that I've set alerts on, that I am paying attention to for those potential trades. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at a few of these and see if there's anything that you want to put on your list you might want to be watching. Take a look at Intel. Intel, as you can see, I placed a price alert right here on Intel. It triggered that alert on Thursday, followed through on Friday. We're pressing up into this resistance area. And this morning, it looks like we're moving just slightly lower on Intel on its open. Let's watch that carefully. As long as this can kind of hold on in this trend, if this has to rest or pull back into here to find enough energy to pop on through, certainly the market is bullish enough to just ignore any resistance above and push on through. So let's keep an eye on Intel. It's looking pretty good. How about Shake Shack? Shake Shack um, alerted on Thursday, followed through on Friday, popping through that resistance. And now we've pulled back and we're trying to hold that area right there as support. If I follow this trend up here any rest or consolidation in here that moves over toward trend could be an opportunity to pick up uh, Shake Shack for some upside move if you'll notice this morning bid ask spreads a little bit wide here right now which is pretty common lately um, in the mornings and um, looks like it could open about where it closed but right now Shake Shack 
or excuse me, um, um, and it's high on Friday, could open about on its high on Friday on this gap up. So watch that closely. Shake Shack's looking pretty decent overall. Let's take a look at Facebook. I actually placed an alert on Facebook um, on Friday. Facebook has been holding up. We had this nice little trend. We broke through these all-time high resistance areas, rallied up, but we're struggling a little bit here. We made a high and found a little dark cloud up here in that chart and pulled back to support and we're holding in this area. So what I'm seeing is that possibility that we could pop on through. Let's keep an eye on that. You can see uh, this morning we're looking at just a tiny little bit lower indicated for the opening, but any little push in the market could maybe send us right on through on that. Now keep in mind any of these texts that I talk about re just remember that the overall NASDAQ is a little bit extended and a pullback could occur at any time so let's watch carefully on those. How about some health care? United Health really um, showing some strength on Friday. Uh, we've been dancing around after breaking through this resistance level, try, uh, pushed through these all-time highs, and you can see kind of dancing around in this area. Nice little strong Morningstar type pattern. Big move on Friday, popping up. It looks like this morning um, still showing some bullishness, wanting to push a little higher. So keep an eye on that. United Health looking good. OKTA, I was keeping an eye on this, but it kind of drifted below its trend on Friday. So might be a little bit of a problem here with OKTA. Now, this has been really, really strong. I placed an alert on this pullback. What I was just looking for is that resting pullback in here that would pop right back up. But now that that's broken this trend, I'm not nearly as interested in this. And I will tell you, if we break this level of support, I won't be interested in this at all. But if we can hold right in here, bounce around and try to recover, there may be some opportunity. But for now, this is kind of a questionable stock and one that I would watch pretty closely. Let's take a look at um, some retail. Now, retail has shown some strength here, five below. Uh, very, very strong, been holding up in its trend, continued on up um, last week. That possibility that five below may move right up on in here and test um, its resistance highs. Take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's, KSS, moved up strongly last week, gapping on Friday, and look at this, it's gapping up again this morning. Now, I wouldn't wanna chase this, but any rest, consolidation, or pullback that moves us back into trend or holds these support levels could set up that opportunity as we reopen the economy. Um, these retailers are starting to show some recovery and comeback. Uh, Target would be another. Target has been um, dancing around here. We broke through this resistance held it as support. We've got a little bit of a wedge pattern showing up here. And you can see trying to push through that top side. So keep an eye on target. And, and there is some effect in target, obviously you've seen in the protests where um, there's they've suffered some damage, some looting, and even closing quite a few stores um, to protect boarding things up. But as you can see, this is still holding up pretty darn well. Take a look at Mondelez. Mondelez had a really good day on Friday. Um, breaking its downtrend here, we had this little downtrend going on. We broke that downtrend. We're holding this price support level in here. Very nice little morning star pattern showing up, and this could be the resumption of trend to the upside. So keep an eye on Mondelez. We may have that possibility that this is ready to recover and push on out. Pretty nice looking chart um, overall. NVIDIA also showing some strength on Friday, popping my alert. This has had this really, really tight little consolidating move here, um, moving out to uh, the side. But if we take a look, at kind of a trend setting up in here, if that continues to push on through, um, NVIDIA could reach out here, make new all-time highs in the market. Keep an eye on MDLZ. Also keeping a close eye here on McDonald's. McDonald's broke its downtrend, 
you can see rising in this trend we popped up on friday and pulled back so what i'd be watching for again i wouldn't want to chase this but any rest or consolidation in here that holds this stock above this trend we want to look for that next opportunity uh, to maybe move this on higher stocks all over the place there's there's more charts right now in the oil sector than you can possibly um, think about buying take a look at Halliburton um, I know members of RWO made some nice money on Halliburton on Friday and you can see it's gapping on through today um, with OPEX news that they're going to continue uh, the historic oil production cuts through the summer so oil all over the place is going to be spiking up today you might even be able to find something in um, stocks like Valero Energy, the refiners, would be a place to look. Look, those refiners gapping up this morning, and you can see gapping up to new highs. Um, we're breaking this downtrend overall, gapping through. So any rest consolidation or pullback in here would set up that opportunity, and here we have our trend. So any rest or pullback in here that proves that support um, could be an opportunity for that to move higher. So lots of stocks today. In fact, I could go on for the next hour of stocks that are setting up but plenty for you to choose from here uh, make sure you get these charts maybe on a watch list do your own due diligence do your evaluation of that price action before making any decision on a trade so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day hey i want to let you also know that i do have quite a few videos that um, have been recorded uh, training videos that i want to get on um posted on youtube i just got slammed this weekend wasn't able to get those taken care of so as this week progresses you'll see those pop up in there so keep checking back to the YouTube channel I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribes to the channel please make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment you guys are awesome thank you so much and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning have a good one